Well, that's me. As you see, I just came out of a place where most people wouldn't have to go. The underground world. Okay, so how I got there is a bit of a long story. Several days ago, I came to southwest China's Chongqing. The city's unique geography is what it's famous for. It is known as a mountain city where many buildings and roads are densely grouped as they're built on hillsides. So above the ground, Chongqing is absolutely a concrete jungle. But what most people may not know is that a few meters underground, things can get just as complex as they're up there. It consists of 180,000 kilometers of different sorts of pipelines that are laid out in the lower spaces of Chongqing. That length is like half of the distance from Earth to the Moon. More importantly, these pipelines are the lifelines of the city. They are vital to sustain the lives of the people, such as providing water, electricity, and telecommunication services such as the internet you may be using to watch this video. So how does one organize such a huge and important network, especially in the darkness where we can't even see our hands? Well, Chongqing has first made some of them visible. This is the underground pipe gallery, or you can call it the utility tunnel. It's more like an underground corridor where all types of pipelines can be fit in together. The only exceptions are those like the high voltage cables or gas pipelines that need to be housed separately. We can see there are four groups of optical cables, one water supply pipe, and on this side there are two groups of electric wires. And you see these kind of shelves that leave the room for more cables, wires, and pipes coming in the future. The underground pipe gallery offers easier access for maintenance and repairs. Thanks to these detectors, the operation status of each pipeline can be monitored in real time, and further pipe works can be done without messing up the streets. In Chongqing, the network of underground pipe gallery stretches 325 kilometers, roughly the distance from New York to Boston, and another 1600 kilometers are being planned. This is a local infrastructure equipment manufacturer that provides the building materials for the underground pipe gallery. Right after China's cabinet, the state council issued the first guideline to promote the underground pipe gallery in 2015. The company started its business. Actually, now, it seems market opportunities are coming. The company has received more tentative deals for the construction of the underground pipe gallery. Honestly speaking, building a mature pipe gallery system is a giant project that can take a century or more. The majority of the underground pipe network now still consists of pipelines and tunnels. Given that fact, Chongqing is also renovating and expanding its sewer and drainage systems. In addition, Chongqing's drainage system faces more challenges than other cities. A valley surrounded by hills is quite a common landscape for the mountain city. We might be at the lowest point of this area. The decades-old narrow storm drain tunnel was showing signs of deterioration and decay. Given its state of disrepair, it is not hard to imagine how these lowlands could have been prone to becoming waterlogged in the past. 
Luckily, renovation work was finished last year. What is it like today? Can it hold off the storms? So this tunnel is around 3.2 meters high and 2.2 meters wide. And yesterday, due to the drizzle out there, you can see the rainwater is flowing here, but it cannot cover my foot. And according to local workers, the highest level of the rainwater is around here, which is around one meter high. So this tunnel is pretty enough to deal with all the rains around here. This bios during Chongqing's coldest season at 5 to 6 degrees Celsius outside. Staying down there for just 20 minutes got me sweating. Wearing such a heavy jacket makes every movement so hard, especially in a dark and oxygen-poor environment. Fortunately, robots can now replace humans when it comes to inspection work and even finish some easy construction work. 如果光靠检测的话，这个机器人就可以代替人，因为有些环境很小，人根本就爬不进去。嗯，机器人就可以方便进入，因为它体积比较小。第二个就是下水道里面有各种气体可以用有毒有害气体，人人去容易发生安全